Hey guys, this is going to be another video in my Nomad Sculpt Basics series, and today I'm going to go over the trim and split tools, which they seem very intuitive, but using them and especially watching, you know, my nieces and things that I've been teaching how to use them, it's a little bit more complex. It's not super intuitive, so I'm going to kind of show you all how that works and how to best make use of that. And so hopefully it's helpful, and I'll talk to you later. So another couple of tools that we have here are the trim and the split tool, which are going to do basically what they sound. You can do the trim over here. You can choose your lasso, a polygon, a line, a rectangle, or an ellipse. So rectangle, you're going to do, you know, I'll sometimes cut off the bottom of my sculpts like this to make sure they're even for printing. And see, it cuts off a super straight line for you right there. Or you can go to the lasso. You also have your symmetry tool up here that you can click and unclick. So I can cut that out or go to symmetry and it'll cut it out on both sides for me. And see how it goes all the way through. The trim tool, you can also do a flip. And basically how the trim tool works is it's going to cut off everything that's highlighted in white. So flip inverts that. So then I have that little piece left or if we do unflip, and it's going to cut out that piece. One thing that you have to be careful with the trim tool is you need to make sure that everything you want to cut out, you have to get in that one smooth motion. If you kind of try to draw around it, you know, kind of, kind of going back and forth like that, you're going to get weirdness going on in there. Another thing to be careful with is when you trim something, as you can see, it's going to go all the way through that shape. Uh, which can be a little irritating. So if I have a shape where I only want things cut out on one side, then I will usually use the tube or another organic shape and then remove that, cut that out with that manual shape cutout option that I've talked about before where, you know, you can add a shape And subtract it like that. I will use that method if I don't want to cut all the way through my shape. Or sometimes I can kind of rotate it at the right angle to where I'm only going to cut off really on that side and the rest of it is going to be not affected. So you got to keep in mind with your trim tool what is behind the surface that you are seeing that you're cutting out and make sure that you are okay with it cutting through that. That can be a little bit trickier once you have other elements in here where you aren't necessarily thinking about what is on the other side of what you're cutting. The split tool works exactly the same way with all the same features, the lasso, the line, the rectangle, the ellipse, the polygon. But instead of removing those things, it just does exactly what it says where it splits those into separate objects. So I can go over here and see it doesn't look any different, but then if we go up here and select, see how we now have two separate objects getting highlighted where we split that down so that can be really useful for cutting out and sparsing together different objects where you have a whole organic shape especially with a flexi and you want to get your basic shape in but then you want to separate things in so you can add link joints or anything like that in the middle so those are those two tools that help with a lot of different processes so hopefully that makes sense and it's helpful to y'all and i will talk to y'all later